I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed that all men are created equal. Reverend Sharp, I want to commend you for the National Action Network's commitment to fight injustice and inequality here in New York City and across America. They said, y'all dream too much, but let me tell you something. If you don't stop with a dream, you won't wake up and do nothing. National Action Network, they're the voice of the people. The people who, you know, don't have a voice, they provide one for them. We need people like Al Sharpton who continue to hammer away at injustices. He's bringing up issues that other people are not talking about. Those that will not vote for us, we will not vote for them. When Al Sharpton and the National Action Network get involved in an issue, the likelihood that justice will prevail dramatically increases. When you have tragedies like what happened to my family, who else do you have to turn to? The Trayvon Martin shooting has sparked a national movement. We're rallying, we're keeping the fight alive until George Zimmerman is arrested and we get justice for Trayvon. His decisions to champion social justice are not a function of geography, ethnicity, color, but are really a function of what I would call his moral standing as to how he views the world. You say, I'm not accepting this because I know it doesn't have to be like this, and I won't accept. This isn't the National Satisfaction Network, this is the National Action Network. Voting rights is under assault. Literally five million people, according to the Brennan Institute, may be disenfranchised. This is human rights and civil rights and nonviolence day. How you gonna meet on King Day and not talk about the stuff Dr. King stood for? This man is the truth. He's the truth. <laughs> you know? Al fights justice. When you're in trouble, Al Sharpton's your man. George Zimmerman just been charged with murder. We just wanted an arrest, and we got it, and I say thank you. This is a validation for the great struggle and vision of Al Sharpton in developing the National Action Network. The groundbreaking things that he's, he's doing is not for fame, is not for glory, it's for right. The voice for the voiceless. He has stood strong against the race of hatred and bigotry. We are not each other's enemies. We are not each other's competition. We are not each other's adversary. It's a very important message. How does it ultimately resonate? We've got to be mature enough to say we can be passionate and we can have some firm feelings, but that we don't have to poison the atmosphere. If you do what civil rights groups like the National Action Network have always done, if you put your shoulder to the wheel of history, and we can move this country towards the promise of a better day. I want to commend you for the work that you've done over the last two decades to lift up not only the African-American community, but the broader American family. That's what you're about. We're the children of dreamers that look biting dogs and fire hoses in the face and defy death, singing, we shall overcome. If we lock arms like we did coming down Highway 80, and cooperate rather than compete, we can make America work for everybody.